you guys were asked to do question number seven, negative three x cubed minus four x, and find the average rate of change between the integral of two to six. Yeah, and look at this first work here. Do you see any mistakes? Yen. Yen. Raise your hand if you see a mistake. Talk to your partner. Yes, Yen. Yeah. Raise your hand if you saw that. So negative 3 times 8 gives me a negative 24. Negative 24 minus 8 gives us a negative 32. Raise your hand if you got that. So we'll check on our calculator. Just going to punch in this into my calculator. Negative three x cubed minus four x, and then I'm just going to go to my table. So I'm going to press second graph, and then I can just punch in the number two. Negative thirty-two. If I substitute in six, raise your hand if you got negative six hundred seventy-two. So this student got that for the second one. Did you see it? So I already have the answers. Okay, let's punch in now. Let me show you guys how to use your calculators. It's good the student got it. So in your calculator, um, go ahead and punch in the uh, function into y1. And then you're going to go to your home screen. So you can just press second quit, second mode, clear it out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to type in the um, I'm going to type in the formula itself. Sit on this one, and the formula itself is essentially y1. I'm I'm substituting in two. I'm subtracting that by evaluating the same function, but subtracting six. And then I'm going to do 2 minus 6. Whoops, that was supposed to be the same one. Okay, so this is what I'm going to type into my calculator. So to do that, uh, there's two ways of getting y1. Let me show you the hard way, and I'll show you the easier way. You press vars. What, num what button class? Vars. And you move over to y vars. I'm going to say y vars. And you press function, and there's your y1 value. That was the hard way. So, vars, y vars, function. Do you guys remember the easier way I told you? What's the easier way? So, parentheses, alpha, someone said trace, and there's your y1 value. Traces up here. And then I'm just going to put parentheses 2. And then do the same thing alpha trace. And then I'm going to divide that by 2 minus 6. And then if you press enter, I got negative 160. And this student using uh, by hand, they also got negative 160. 
Class, do I want you to just type it in the calculator and give me an answer? No, the calculator already passed the class. You need to pass the test. So you got to show me.